There are 56 colors on the right-hand side of the slide. And each color represents a distinct ecozone in the Asia Pacific region. They're a little difficult to count because there are so many diverse ecosystems in this area. And now let's imagine by the end of the century, will these ecozones still be there? The climate is changing and it's becoming more and more chaotic. So ecosystems that currently exist may face unbearably dry and hot climate in the future. I am developing a machine learning model that projects the suitable habitats for forest ecosystems in the future. The model associates the existing ecosystem classification with important ecological factors, such as climate, soil, and I'm still investigating other factors, such as topography and land cover. And after the association is built, I input the projected future ecological conditions and then generate the projections for suitable habitats. However, the future is unpredictable. Just like in the famous poem, The Road Not Taken, what we choose today can greatly impact our future. And that's why I take in the shared socioeconomic pathways to model different scenarios. The pathways are based on different assumptions of how the world may develop, and each pathway represents a possible future. So I project for each of the possible future, layer them up, and then generate a consensus projection. The implications of my study is profound for guiding adaptation and conservation strategies. The significant outcomes include uh, assessing the impact of climate change on forest ecosystems, identifying um, the conservation priorities and guiding the vision for assistive migration. Assistive migration is adaptation and conservation strategy that involves relocating seas or seedlings to areas that they're more likely to survive in a changing climate. By understanding the shift of the uh, suitable habitats for ecosystems, we can make informed decisions on where to relocate the seeds. To sum up, my research is to develop a tool to guide um, adaptation on conservation strategy and ensure the health of ecosystems that are critical to our planet. Thank you.